What's the one thing that pretty much everything has in common? Money. Money, some people would say, makes the world go round. Money is how people define their wealth and how good their job is. It's safe to say money is quite a big part in people's lives, and that's certainly the case for the film industry. In fact, money is such a big factor in the film industry is that every year we see films and films being made for the sole purpose, profits. Every single studio executive is going to be looking for the profit margins, how much money the film's going to make, how much money the film will cost. So of course people are going to start thinking that you need money to make a film. Well. What if I told you there was a way to make films with no money? Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It is day 50 something, 50, come on, Max, Editor Max, you got this. You've been doing it for like 58. It's day 58, that's it, and that's how I remember. Remember? Remember, that's how I remember. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to make a film with no money. So a quick fact about me and my channel is that I've never had a budget for one of my films. Of course, I have invested money into films, but I've never actually had a budget. I've never had other people put in money, never had to set aside savings for a film. I mean, no, I haven't made a feature length yet, but still, I'm planning to keep it as low cost as I possibly can. I know so many people who said they want to make a film, but they can't afford to, they don't have the money to make it. And I think there's always a way around it. Some people might start by saying, well, what about the cost of lighting, cameras, editing software, set, location, actors, actresses? All this stuff is obviously gonna cost money. But today, I'm gonna be talking about how films are quite accessible to make. And if you use your right devices, that, you know, you might be able to make something for yourself. First of all, I'm gonna say the problem stems from a lot more than just the equipment. The key feature to keeping to a low budget is the idea. So the idea stems from us, it stems from our brains, it stems from our experiences and what we want to show on screen. Before you start your film, you're gonna have some sort of idea what you're gonna make, what you're gonna film, what you want it to look like. But really, one thing we should be asking ourselves is how? How are we gonna make it? What are we gonna do to make it? One of the key things I've learned from studying TV and film production and film studies and doing my own channel, use what you have. Work with what you got. I mean, look around you. Just look around you. Take a little swivel, swivel in your chair. Wow, look at this. I have a blank room with a dodgy, sketchy bulb that should be, where is it? There. Dodgy, sketchy bulb and no wardrobes that are soon gonna be put in. Don't worry, if this is your first video, I, I know it's my room's an absolute state. But it's getting changed at the end of this month, so I'm happy about that. Before you even think of an idea, make sure you have it in your mind where you want to go, get some inspiration. Go for a run over your local park, see what's around there, see what places where you can film, where you're allowed to film, see if there's parks, if there's pubs, you might be able to talk to the owners, maybe restaurants or shops, maybe if you have a garden or if you have a downstairs, if you have an upstairs, if you have an attic, if you have a garage, bathroom. All it takes is one quick look and imagine something happening in that space. And then who knows, you might spark some inspiration from a location and if that happens then brilliant, you can use it, you can do it. If, if you have a green screen, don't even get me started, that, that opens up a world of possibilities and there boom you've done it you save money on location also if it's around you that's your travel sorted if you're making a short film maybe just try and keep it to one location so you don't have to move around stuff or have multiple recording days now equipment can seem really daunting because if you're not into filmmaking or you've never been into filmmaking before you may not have this stuff but before you start making your film one of the most important things is know what you have at the moment as well as where you want to shoot it ask your parents if you have it if they have a family camera that can actually shoot video or you might have one of these magic tools there we go, one of these bad boys. You will not believe how good these are. You'll be surprised what this little baby can do. I mean, I currently have the iPhone 11, what is pretty good. This thing can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second. What's, what's better than, you know, majority of cameras out there? Obviously, obviously, obviously. Having a camera with a proper lens will beat a phone, but every year we see smartphones getting better and better, and directors like, like Steven Soderbergh have used smartphones in films that come out in cinemas. Some people would even go as far as saying it's the future of film. Smartphones are an accessible way to get into filming, and the quality isn't bad. But if you have a smartphone or if you have a camera at home, that sorts out your camera rental and your camera prices. At the end of the day, it's all about the story and the story you want to tell rather than the quality of the image. And also another benefit is that they're really light so you can kind of slip it in your pocket and go like guerrilla style filming. It, it's, it's quite good. Also filming landscape. Sorry, I just thought I'd put in a side note. Please film in landscape. Depending on what you're making but still landscape that is the way to go. Editing software is up next and editing software depends what you're editing it on. I've said in my editing video that DaVinci Resolve is one of the best editing softwares you can get and it's free. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, there's thousands. GoPro have a good editing 
editing software, um, Adobe Rush, free editing software you can get on iPhones and iPads, as well as iMovie is okay. iMovie is okay. All of which are free depending on what you're using in terms of phone wise, and all are capable to telling a story. So that's your editing software done and sorted. It just takes a bit of time to get used to. Next up is actors and crew. Use your friends. Friends are absolutely brilliant. And I'm sure if you ask them, just do a favor to hold up a camera for a couple minutes, hold it still. If you tell them to hold a light for a bit, I'm sure they will be absolutely fine with doing it. For all of my films, I've based my whole crew around about my friends and people I know to help me out. I'm lucky I go to a stage school, therefore I have access to friends who are also amazing actors and actresses that I have been using and will be using probably for my career. But also don't be afraid to you know, ask someone to help you. I'm sure they'll understand if you try and describe it in the least freakiest way possible. Come hold a camera for me and film me doing stuff. It doesn't sound, you have to come across as okay. A FaceTime and a phone call will never hurt, really. Next up with costume and clothing. Use your own. Yeah, that's right. Kind of just either ask the actors to bring their own clothing or use your own. I mean, it depends on what you're doing. If you're doing for a sci-fi genre, then, and there's one piece you want to get, find a reason to use it in something else. Not just that short film, so it doesn't feel like such a blow when you buy it. Just look for your wardrobe and see what you have. Again, you might find something that inspires you. Don't be afraid to mash up colors. Don't be afraid to try anything out. At the end of the day, costume shouldn't be something stopping you from making your film. Again, with set design, it's work with what you got. That's kind of the phrase, that's the phrase, I should probably just put that as a title, that work with what you got. Production design, look for cardboard, look for anything. Look, look around your house for locations to film and you'll be surprised. Who knows, you might be able to move a chair and create a whole different scene. Put different photos on the wall. See if it changes something. And one of the final points I have is music. So if you want a cool score for your film or you want that one needle drop to really hit hard, just YouTube copyright free music and you'll be surprised. Get yourself a playlist on YouTube of loads of copyright free songs that you like. There's some quality stuff on YouTube that people have done that copyright free. One of the worst feelings is when you create a film and you upload it or you submit it to festivals and they tell you it's been copyright claimed or it's been taken down because the song's owned by someone else. Also, there's other websites which is freesound.com. Absolutely amazing site for sound design. It's all free. If you need a sound of something, they will probably have it. But also get creative. Oh crap. See what instruments are around your house and see if you can create something. But one of the main things in making a film on a budget is that you don't have to worry if you fail. See, I think one of the problems with money is that when you invest it into something, you're worried that you're not going to get your money's worth. Or it's a waste of money. Or money isn't well spent. If you make a film with zero budget, if it fails, it fails. But at the end of the day, films shouldn't be about money. The motivation shouldn't be behind banknotes or coins. They should be about the story, the art, the artists behind it and the work, the hours that you put into it. It's about the countless cups of tea, the countless hours, the countless hours searching for that right song, or countless takes just trying not to crack up while you're doing that one shot that looks so questionable, but it looks great on camera. It's about the experiences you're gonna have with your friends. It's about the, the buzz on set. It's about surrounding the monitor and watching what that last shot looked like. It's about celebrating when you say that's a wrap, and it's about having the after shoot Nando's feeling like you're on top of the world. <laughs> It's about the long days, the sleepless nights. Films should be about experiences and not profits. And don't let something that's little with money to hold you back. Hey, some of the best films are made on budget. So on that note, thank you for watching. As always, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe down below and check out my other videos. I have some playlists that I've linked in this corner. That's probably been annoying you, you kind of swiped it. It's like a little white box. If you click on that, you can see the playlist to like, um, I believe my all my videos from 2020, my all my vlogs, as well as my professional work. So make sure you go check it out. I'd really appreciate it. So without further ado, thank you for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow. Goodbye.